So, hi guys, do you remember how we did all the other ones displaying importing a table from another page? We have account histories, but we don't want a user to log in and just come here and click an account on account histories. No, we want them to go to the account, and from the account, they can see the account histories. Another advantage of this is if the admin is viewing this page, you understand? Let's assume that the admin is viewing somebody's account. The admin should be able to also see the full account history. So that is something we can do easy peasy by importing, uh, we'll go to account histories, look at account histories, there's a table to it, we have to import this table into our account show field. So we'll click on account show field at the bottom, we're going to do the importation, we'll do at includes, at includes, include. Um, the name of the folder which is account history account underscore histories dot we now put the name of the file which is table table Be beautiful this works and then uh, but the problem is that this account history so if we put in the table you see that it's making use of a variable this is account histories variable and account histories variable was not passed into any of the account pages from the con account controller so if we refresh this page there's going to be an error because it's going to complain that the variable is missing i'm refreshing here we are it's complaining account histories variable undefined and it's highlighting this line showing that it's there's a problem so we need to pull out the account histories from the account first of all we need to tell laravel how account is related to account histories uh, most like the way it's related to views users an account has many account histories all right oh. so we do the same thing copy or oh, what did i just do copy we can do account um underscore histories beautiful we can see it has many as many we point the model account history so if we now take this and go to the account um to the page we were in inside views on the account page okay now what we're gonna do is we have to go to the controller first to specify it so we've gone to the controller controller we look for account and we look for the action that governs this page which is show we look for show store here show cool so here just before we pass to the page we want to pass the account histories variable to the page so we can do oops account histories equal to account this variable period so this function inside the account model retrieves all the account histories and we've already pulled the account model here so we're saving it in this variable which means we have to pass it to the view as usual i'll click here and then pass it we do this arrow do with with account histories comma dollar sign account history so this should make sense now if we come here and refresh and wait, chill, see, account history has been listed here. So in the next video, we'll clean it up, all right? And as usual, we've made this mistake having this here, this semicolon. I don't know if you can see if it's tiny. So to fix it, we have to go to the account view, um, accounts, show field. At the bottom, we remove this. We don't need it. So when we refresh, it's gone. And see you in the next video. It's gone.